Hi, this is Dean Delonix, and welcome to Self Health and Wealth, episode two. So we talked about a few things last week I'm gonna be doing to help myself become more happy. It was lots of cycling, which I've done four times this week. It was keeping on this strict diet, which is going fantastically well. I'll show you some clips. Um, I was going to the gym. I've been three times now to the gym in the last week, which is brilliant. And uh, we're going to do some interviews this week about meditation, which is gonna, hopefully going to help. And we're going to talk a little bit about massage. I went for a massage last week with a, a place called Mankind. And uh, also another thing that I thought I'm going to start doing is more handiwork around the house. You know, so you know, if I'm fair, I kind of gave up on that about 10 years ago and started using workmen to do my jobs because they could do a better job and I could just concentrate and do music and things like that. But to be fair, I think give myself a challenge. So what I'm doing now, I'm sanding down all my kitchen tops and I'm going to re-oil them. It's only a small job, but it gives you um, a sense of accomplishment and you know, it gives you those man points that make you feel, feel good about yourself. So I'm going to be taking on more of these jobs too. So, um, have a look at some of the things I've been doing this week. Right, so we're back again. And you remember when I did our last video, we, we did a lot of conversation about health. So you'll see me out riding on my bike and looking at all the different foods and then it's really helped so I managed to lose quite a bit of weight. So this whole series is called Self Health and Wealth. We've got some interviews coming up about wealth that's going to help people do some investments in the future which is always a nice thing to feel a bit comfortable about the money around you. But today in this episode we're going to talk about self. So recently I've been reading the book by Itzhak Benthoff, Stalking the Wild Pendulum. And it's extremely, really interesting. It talks a lot about different levels of consciousness. And then it even moves on to the last chapter about the Kundalini levels of consciousness. Now, I don't know much about meditation, but I do know I need some help, which is why I've invited Lisa Brody, who's a bit of an expert in energy shifting. Hi. Hello. So what I'm hoping, Lisa, is that you're going to help me through some sort of guided meditation experience. Sure. Give me some of the tools that I need to help me going forward to kind of meditate a little bit more. Okay. But before I kind of start that, tell me what, what do you think the main sort of benefits of meditation are? I think in today's current society, there's a lot of people are dealing with a lot of stress, anxiety, and certainly throughout the, uh, the pandemic, there's been a lot of worry, uh, a lot of people spend time on their own. And I think by taking the practice of meditation, it helps you to ground yourself. I think you're absolutely right. I think it does make a big difference. Have you noticed any sort of changes uh, in the whole on the whole world recently, have you noticed? Because I know we've we've discussed a little bit about spiritually how the world is maybe going through a bit of a change. Can you allude anything to that? I've noticed over the last certainly the last ten years people's behaviour. I think we're all looking now for a more wholesome way of being. I think we've lost touch as humanity, we've lost touch with the values of, of human existence, and I think a lot of people have been seeking a more fulfilling life. Um, I think we realise we have just been um, human doings rather than human beings <laughs> and um, I think people are now seeking a um, more fulfilling lifestyle but also aware of the realities of this three-dimensional life that we live here um, that um, you know we, we now seek it. Humanity is now going through what we call a spiritual awakening um, and a lot of people are becoming a lot more awareness of that. You're hearing more words like well-being, uh, the importance of that, uh, also meditation, um, yoga practices, more holistic type therapies, mm -hmm. uh, becoming more um, more everyday. We have the seven energy centers within the physical body. Yeah, so talk us through them, because I think you're going to help me with them through my guided meditation now, right? So where, where does that start and where does it end? There are seven of these chakras. So we're starting at the base chakra, which is at, right at the end of the tailbone and is symbolic of the symbol red. This is your earth chakra, your grounding chakra. This is the chakra that if you find that you're constantly thinking and you're in your head and you're thinking, thinking, it's because this root chakra is not grounded. 
Now as we go through the meditation, I'll give you a direction on how to ground that chakra, how to feel if that energy centre is working at its full function, and if there is any blockages, and how by sending light energy into there, and it is a visual, this is a mental visual intention to send light there. So this is all thought provoked. Um, so you can send the energy in there, clear out any density, any fear, any lack, um, we clear the energy out there and then, we, then that energy centre functions at full function and then you feel really grounded, you feel safe. So every chakra has a function and if that chakra isn't operating its, full, its fullness um, and it has a blockage, then it will impact your daily life and how you feel throughout, throughout, your, throughout that day. That's why it's essential to try and meditate every day, even if it's just for 10 minutes. Should we give it a go? Certainly. Okay. Now, just to prepare before I do meditation, what, what, what sort of should I think about my surroundings or what would you suggest? I would say you want to find somewhere that's peaceful and quiet where there's not going to be any interruptions. Somewhere that's not cluttered. Um, somewhere where you can feel relaxed. Um, and in some cases, people even set up a little bit of a shrine to that. So it may be burning some incense in preparation, uh, maybe light some candles. Um, just find somewhere where it's peaceful and quiet for yourself either inside or outside. Some people just like to take themselves off um, and, and find somewhere quiet. But it is literally just so you can be quiet and take your attention inwards. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing I would say, it's about taking your attention inwards and coming out of your mind. So I'm fairly, I'm, I'm quite happy in the surroundings. I mean, I haven't got the candles lit or anything like that yet, but we are just on the starting from the beginning with my sort of, my, my, my journey into meditation. So um, I feel like I'm quite comfortable now. We'll, we'll do guided meditation until I can get hold of the feel of doing it myself, if that's okay. Certainly. So, would you be able to lead me through one? I certainly will. Okay, I'll leave it to you. So, if you want to take a deep breath in through your nose, taking your breath and expanding your belly, so you take your energy right down, not just to your chest, but right down to the base of your stomach. Hold for three and then release to the count of three. So, it's a cycle of three. In the count of three, hold the count of three, and release, releasing all the breath in your entire body. And with each breath, imagine that you're breathing a white, beautiful light, and you're allowing every cell of your body to be filled with light. When you're focusing and centered on your breath, and you take your awareness inwards, we're then going to imagine from the base of the spine, where the root chakra is, and imagine roots coming from this base chakra and going down into the center of the earth. So imagine this energy of light, stream of light, Going from the base chakra, down through the core of the earth, travelling through the molten rock, thousands of miles into the core of the earth until we reach the centre of the planet. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I felt really peaceful. Um, it helped me really focus on a few things and I can imagine doing that every morning and every evening. So this journey is definitely making changes, real positive ones, and I'm genuinely feeling happier. Um, oh, and uh, non-alcoholic beer. So yeah, so I've been sober now all the way through this journey so far, not a drink, and I, and I can't imagine having a drink. On 14 July, will I have a drink on my birthday? I don't know. I might not. I feel really happy socializing with just non-alcoholic beer or a coffee. So what's next is a, a, a massage. We're gonna go for a little journey to a massage. Um, do you want to see the finished work of my manual work? Let's see if I can twist this around. Look at those countertops. Hey, they're like brand new. Yeah, I knew I could do it. When I was talking to Lisa, and she said that it seemed like I had some sort of spiritual awakening, that I had some sort of calling to help people more using my hands. And she talked about ideas like Reiki and about like massage and things, both which I think are great ideas because I've got that really good space out the back of my, my garden 
uh, that I can use to help people in that way. So I looked online and I tried to find anyone who's giving massage therapy in my area and everything was really focused towards women. It's quite a feminine sort of industry, which is fine. But when you're a big guy like me, it's hard to find someone. And I searched around and I found one guy um, called Richard in Mankind and they're based in Clayton West uh, in Yorkshire. So what I've done is I've arrived here now, I've booked in with him. Um, I'm going to hopefully get a massage and ask him a few questions about the industry and uh, see if I can get some advice from him. I'm back from a massage. It was brilliant. Uh, really refreshed. Um, it was a great experience from the start to the end. I'm starting to think that maybe a career like that might be something I could do myself. It's like giving back a little bit. So when I'm thinking about my happiness going forward, it's something that I, I might think to do myself. So I suppose over next week, I should look into the courses that are offered um, to take up some sort of massage course or, 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 or Reiki course or I don't know, just, just an idea for now, but it's something I'll play around with next week. Um, so that's that's that out of the way. The meditation I really, really enjoyed. Um, I'm definitely going to stick to doing that daily. Still sticking to my bike rides, making sure I get to the gym regular, make sure I'm eating healthy. Um, doing these videos is quite creative, but I'll be very, very pleased to say that as lockdown is coming out now in, in the UK, um, I managed to get a bunch of gigs, a load of gigs have come in. So I'm playing over the next few weekends. Um, which is live music, which is what I love to do. So you can catch me and uh, if you check out my Facebook page, you can see all the events there. It's Dean Delonix. So everything's going pretty well, pretty well. Here's my happiness stats. Where shall I put them? Put them here. So again, a bit better than last week. It's going good. I think going forward then in the next video, I'm going to be looking into new career paths myself. Maybe the massage course might be a good idea. And I'm going to try and get myself an interview with a, a fellow who's, who's quite up to date with cryptocurrency um, and also in the stocks and share sales. So very small, minor investing opportunities. I'm going to just see what that's all about and see if that's something that we can do going forward. I did take a few investments um, a few months ago in, in crypto and they've actually done very well for me. So I just want to get a little bit more advice on that. So I'll be looking into that next week. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you again. And you can watch my next video. If you've not seen my, my first one, just check that out on the YouTube channel. And hopefully next week I'll have episode number three. Thanks again.